Hello everybody and welcome back. Canic Chase. Bigfoot, Beast, Werewolf, or both. Part 1. The wolf-like Canic creature. 30th of June, 06. The Beast of Canic Chase is back and on the hard shoulder. Motorist on the junction 10A of the M6 near Canic jammed highway agency helplines one Wednesday morning with report of a wolf-like creature racing between lanes at rush hour. Motorists looked on in disbelief as a three-foot-long creature, described as greyish-black, raced between the lanes, dodging stunned motorists before diving for cover into the nearby trees. Highways agency staff joined motorway police to hunt for the creature and later stated the beast was likely to be a husky dog. But a spokesperson at Saga Radio, who was eyeing the sky traffic reports, were the first to clock the event, said, Highway staff said that it was probably a husky dog, but everyone who saw it is convinced it was something more than a domestic dog. West Midlands Goals Club says they have been contacted by a number of shop residents who saw what they claimed to be a hairy wolf-type creature walking on its hind legs around the German cemetery just off Camp Road, in between Stafford and Cannock. Several of the witnesses claim the creature sprang up on its hind legs and ran into the nearby bushes when it was spotted. Nick Duffer of the West Midlands Golf Club, Golf Club, sorry, said the stories of werewolf sightings on the Chase area were something that he had encountered before. He said, the first person to contact us was the postman, who told us he had seen what he thought was a werewolf on the German war cemetery site. He said he was over there on a motorbike and saw what he believed was a large dog, and when he got closer, the creature got onto its hind legs and ran away on two feet. Mr Duffy added, I've spoken to many witnesses and I know when they are putting it on. But what struck me as strange about this was the way he told it. I mean, no doubt that he was telling the truth. The creature was also apparently spotted by a scout leader walking over the forest land earlier in April. The man, who the post stated did not want to be named, said he saw what he initially believed was a large dog prowling by the bushes. It was only when he got into his car to drive away that he realised something strange about the animal. He said, It just looked like a huge dog. But when I slammed the door of my car, it reared up on its back legs and ran off into the trees. It must have been about six to seven foot tall. I know it sounds absolutely mad, but I know what I saw. In recent years, there have been a high number of pet disappearances, especially in the area around the German War Cemetery. And it's certainly the case that the area has been the site of animal, normally deer, mutilations over the past decade. A group of friends walking through the chase in the early hours of the morning spotted a tall, dark figure which quickly ducked down. One of the group approached it, only to hear it run off. Walking back towards their car, two of the group heard a roar, which they believed sounded like a silverback gorilla. One person also reported seeing red eyes glaring at them from the bushes. Now these accounts are just a small sample of the many accounts on the chase, from the pigman to the black-eyed kids. The chase is a hotbed for cryptids, paranormal happenings, strange phenomena, UFO sightings and many an upright figure be it werewolf or wild man. Once a huge forested area, sadly like Sherwood Forest, this is now a rural setting with small woods, green corridors consisting of fields, rivers, streams and railway lines, whether active or left issues. So until next time, thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>